Hello there guys! Today I thought I would go over the recent big content update to Chivalry Medieval Warfare. This is the first big content update they've done, and it is completely free. First off, now you can actually swing left to right. Honestly, in terms of control, this was one of the only things I really felt was missing from the combat system before now. And it improves the game quite a bit, to have that option, even though it's just a small change really. To swing left to right, you'll also need to keybind it to something, and then just go swinging. There's also an alternative upswing now, which I'm sure has some major use as well. There are 5 new weapons. I have tried them all, the sling is a new ranged weapon, available to the archer. You swing it around your head and then let it fly. It seems sort of like the easiest ranged weapon to get into and to use, but maybe not the strongest. The quarterstaff is a two-handed man-at-arms weapon that's pretty fast and really fun to play with, although looking at its stats straight up, it doesn't really seem to compare too well to some of the other man-at-arm weapons. The pole hammer is a long vanguard weapon which is honestly pretty similar to the other vanguard weapons, particularly the halberd and such. The flail and the heavy flail are two new knight weapons. The flail kind of has uh, the same kind of feel to it as the sling, and the flails are really fun to play with in general. There is also some new maps. Argon's Wall takes place on and around a big wall. Teams start on opposite sides of the wall and they have some cool siege equipment they can use and otherwise it is just plain old slaughter. The Citadel is what its name would indicate. It's a big team objective map invading this huge wicked looking citadel with some nice lava-y scenery to back it up. Frigid is a new map for free-for-all and that kind of thing, and such that it is set up in a desolate winter environment. Next, probably the most important part of the patch, is the two new game modes. The first is Capture the Flag. It takes place on a normal battlefield, a flag on each side of the map. Standard fare, you bring in the flag to your side. Once you get this flag though, it actually becomes your weapon, with a spear on the end and all. It's a cool take on the mode, and one that honestly really really fits with chivalry more than anything. Then we have something that people have been wanting and asking for for a long time, which is the dual mode. There are a full 10 maps to do 1v1 combat on now, there is a mode people have actually been wanting a lot, and now it's here. It works well, there is a kind of tournament-y setting to it, where you get put into 1v1 battles against other players, it happens in a 2 out of 3 format, and then the people that win the most duels win that round. Like I said, it's really well done, as is the capture of the flag mode. Team Objective Mode is still my favorite mode in Chivalry, as it's just really unique, and it really stands out. But now with this patch, I have a second and third favorite. Outside of that, there has been some optimization, bug fixes, general game polish, improvement of the server browser and online functionality. They've been really massively improving Chivalry, and all for free. It's an incredible game, and there is an incredible team behind it. If you haven't got the game yet, do so now for your sake. 